Hunt Showdown, self-published by Crytek, is a predominantly stealth-based online FPS extraction shooter that initially came out around four or five years ago, but which has had constant updates throughout, which recently culminated in them releasing a PS5-specific version running on a new engine, and it remains a game that I regularly load up as one of my favourites of recent times. First things first, this game is intense. In the main mode, Bounty Hunt, there's a unique blend of PvE and PvP, as you and up to two friends are tasked with tracking down one of the various boss monsters, who could be located anywhere on a sprawling map. And you're not alone, as other teams of humans have the same objective, and ultimately only one team can do it. This leads to lots of emergent gameplay and strategies as in each match you find yourself in a completely different situation and scenario. Will you be the first team to find the monster and do you then kill it and try to extract it in the hope you do so before other humans spot what's going on? Or do you find it first and rather than fight it, set up a barrier or an ambush point to intercept other humans in the knowledge that they'll also be arriving at some point throughout the match? And do you then kill them on arrival or do you wait for them to defeat the boss and then get them as they're escaping? Maybe you could even just not stay anywhere near the boss at all, and just hang back at the extraction point knowing that eventually someone will have to go there and they won't be expecting you. Each match really does evolve in completely different ways. For a game so focused on co-op, to be honest I even find it fun to just do solo runs sometimes, and knowing that I'm alone but against teams of two or three who have the same objective really gives me such a thrill and I've had many wonderful unique experiences along the way, as well as some pretty crazy snatches of defeat from the jaws of victory moments. And vice versa. It's exhilarating. As well as worrying about the other humans and those boss monsters, there are also various AI creatures scattered throughout the map, but these act mainly as roadblocks of a sort to stop you just running through the map blindly, as one of the most impressive things about this game is the general sound design. And being careless with these roadblocks is what can ultimately give away your position to the teams of other humans going around the map. I would say that playing this game with headphones and 3D audio turned on is really essential, as the design is honestly so good that when you do so, and you hear gunshots in the distance, or chains rustling, or explosions, you really do think, okay, so that's about 200 metres to the east? And ultimately, this knowledge of the soundscape is what gives you the upper hand, or what gives your position away. It really is super impressive sound design and top stealth shenanigans. The atmosphere as a whole is another strong point, as with the game's semi-Lovecrafty and 19th century American setting, there's a unique look to it all as you get immersed in various bayous and forests, with new maps added regularly at no extra cost. With a game that does have such high replayability, you'd expect the community to be passionate and dedicated, and they definitely don't disappoint. Even now, four years after launch, the game recently posted its highest ever concurrent player count, so it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere anytime soon, and the game's director has even stated that they're by no means finished with all of their plans for it yet. The whole genre of extraction shooter is one that's been catching on lately, and I am very curious to see what the future holds with various titles having already been announced, but one thing I do know is that as long as Hunt Showdown keeps getting updates, then I'll probably keep playing it. And hey, I might even be hunting with you one day, eh? Feel free to get involved and hit me up. For now, it'd help a lot if you could subscribe or click like on the video. Or hey, even both, eh? But no pressure. Au revoir. The first thing is you, you shoot that lantern with your crossbow um, to kill all those dogs that are alerting everyone. Oh, and all what the, lantern? All the grunts. I got the all grunts. Right. Okay, that, Lord, yeah, right, you got it, mate. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, right. Okay. okay. Oh, I'm on fire now. Fucking now. hell. I'm killing these lantern boys. Oh, they catch on yeah, fire. Yeah, good for you, but I'm on fire. Oh my god! I know! It's <laughs> fiery hill all around me. I know! Mate, you never oh, told me that the lantern would do all of that. Doing great. Mate. I didn't know it would come out that far. <laughs> I no, appreciate to be totally that. Honest, I know, I know. But... I think it hit a barrel. I think there's another barrel outside. Because, okay. no, lanterns don't do that. This is a straight <laughs> line across the entire thing. The lanterns are literally meant to be self-contained. Oh. Bleed. Oh, oh, of course, it's a fucking... that's okay. He's, he's the barbed wire yeah, one. Yeah, but also, yeah. that clue's red, by the way. <laughs> right, they're here. Oh! Yeah, don't they worry. They got bomb lanced. Yeah, what does that mean? Oh, hello! I was killed with a, with a bomb lance. I just killed one of them. I just killed one, man. I just killed one. I can hear their footsteps. Oh, I see him, I just saw one, but... Oh, fuck. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know! Fucking hell! Take that, you fucking cunt! Right nice now. Nice hit, mate. 
Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. Awesome. Here's his pal. Pick up his buddy. Take that, you fucking cunt. Oh my cunt. god, Tanya, All right, who here we are go. you? All right, here you go. Revive, mate. Revive. I'm my gonna loot hero. these fuckers. My fucking hero. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I got your back. I'm Holy looting. shit, dude. Nice. I told Job. you, man. It works. It works. Like, just call them cunts and swing an axe at them, and it works. Um, <sighs> that, am... That's the actual fucking tactic to this think, game. Yeah. Okay. Next time I'm bringing an axe, cause holy shit.